cut it out with a cut off wheel, um, maybe a plasma cutter, possibly a saw. Uh, pay attention to what's behind the panel. Don't light the car on fire. Don't light yourself on fire. <laughs> Try not to burn too much seam sealer from the 30s because it's it's not healthy. And wear proper respiratory <laughs> equipment because it's really not safe to burn that stuff too long. Um, so then you'll come back and you'll make a template. For this, um, this was for a fender patch on a Monte Carlo. And it's just roughed out. Um, but it did in fact fit for the area that I was going to repair. I just wanted to give you guys an example of what material you could use. You could use um, like parchment paper, even tracing paper, something thinner if you're making a really big panel and you've got a big contour. If you have an English wheel that you can make it with anyway. Um, so this, I center mark it. And when I make the marks on the template, I also mark the adjacent areas where it's going to connect so that I always have a point of reference and I start from the center. So this end line would go back over onto the panel so I know where to line up and then I know where to trim. Um, then I take measurements. So I measure the actual opening, transfer that measurement to here, marking the distance. Um, that says 15 and a half height overall, 14 and a half height to a uh, 45 degree bend, and that's that's the 45 degree bend. Um, so cardboard's nice because you can slice it, and you can do like a partial bend, and it's still together. If you try and do that with paper, you get in trouble, and you end up with just the line. Um, and then I mark the middle. Uh, this is just the top width, and from there, uh, the little dots are marks where there are spot welds, because then that bottom 90 degree bend would have holes drilled so that I can do spot welds to the structure at the base of that fender. Um, 16th if I have to. Yeah. I rarely have to do it in a 16th. It's usually an 8th. Yeah. Because you can trim. I mean, it's you can either trim your panel or you can trim the where you're putting the patch to fit. You don't go over and trim back? Um, when I, I'm not there yet. When I cut. So I'm, this is measuring the actual opening. Oh. So then I take it over to a big piece of sheet metal, and this is not one that I would use. This is too big, this is for the next segment. So don't pay attention to the conditioner things. Use a clean piece of sheet metal that's the proper gauge. If you're doing a fender, it's going to be thinner than this, probably 20 or 22. This one's 18. 18 you might use on a floor, um, maybe an air structure, like an inner pad corner, or a, a dog leg for a support on the back of a truck, um, something of that nature. Um, so you lay it down, you find, I have so much scrap at my shop that I find the piece that I can like make the jigsaw fit and makes the piece metal that I can. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I mark, um, I would use a, a fine tip sharpie so that I can get as close to the edge as possible. Um, come back and mark all of the same things that I wrote on this panel back on this panel and then cut and I'll use a straight edge like a metal level as a straight edge with a plasma cutter sometimes I'll use a cut off wheel um, kind of depends on how much material you have to work with and what tools you have yeah